Welcome back, everybody, to another episode here of Fire Emblem 7. Uh, today we're going to be tackling Chapter 13 of Hector Hard Mode, and we're doing an Iron Man run, so no resets, no arena, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Chapter 13, In Search of Truth. Oh yeah, we don't need to watch these cutscenes. Oh my gosh. Fuck yeah. Alright, so, hmm. We really want to go to this village, because I want to get that mine. And we need to go to that village so we can get the Gaiden chapter for Merlinus. I want to get Merlinus early so I could stop managing my inventory so much. We have too much crap. And Rebecca has space. I should really... You could just hold on to these. I'm not going to have Marcus use those yet. Um... You guys let me know if you prefer me to just jump right in and start playing now. I think it'll save us a lot of time if we don't have to waste our time dawdling. You know what I mean? Just like twirling our thumbs, not getting shit done. Because, as it is right now... As it is right now... Um, our episodes have been going on too long for a while. And I could have cut down a little bit on time... You know, if I was, like, just a little bit more optimal um, about the way the videos go. Oh, I think I could do this still. Whoops. Rescue. Nice. Good shit. Move down. Make sure that's equipped. All right, yeah, I, I think if we just hop right in, you know, on the ones where we don't have to read cutscenes. As much as I love reading cutscenes, it's just, I'm sure you guys don't want to hear them a second time. I don't really want to read the same ones a second time either, because that's kind of boring. Um, I'm really craving just playing Fire Emblem right now. I, I just finished recording the last episode a couple hours ago, and man, fuck. I... I just really feel like playing fire. I don't know. I just really want to play. So, um... Uh, so that's what we're doing. And that's about the end of that. <laughs> so, that's it. Um, alright. I think this should work. I, I... Since watching the last video... Or since watching the last video while I edited it... While I got it posted up and stuff... I was thinking about a strategy for this chapter, because now, I, <sighs> Elowood, please, dog, I, I know that there's a lot of, just a lot of high mobility units, and my units kind of suck, like, Elowood just hit level 2 and he only got defense and res, like, oof, we are... Not in an exceptionally good way, you know? And I think the strategy is honestly just... Keep everyone... On this group, packed together. Get this with Loen, have him canto away, and then we all run a regroup. Because... Fuck this snag, fuck going down there, we just want to get the village and we want to regroup. Because I don't want to get overwhelmed. People are going to start spawning from here and here, I think. And that's a little bit scary. So I don't want to deal with that if I can help it. Um, how do I want to go about this? I think if I move Hector here... Oh, he can't quite get the one shot. He can get the kill if Rebecca were to... Start off with an arrow plink. Alright, so that's good. She hit... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it now, then. But I'll do it with an iron. Conserve the wolf bale now that I gave Hector an iron. Good, good. Defense went up. Good, thank God. Good job, Hector. Um... If I, oh, a peg knight can't currently reach Rebecca. Whew. 
That's risky, though. I don't like this. If I were to use Marcus to get this kill... Move one more. I can move Partry here to attack. And I can move Matthew down to finish that one, and then there'd only be two. And then this guy would be able to reach Matthew, and that's problematic. And that would be 15 against his defense of what? 4? 11 damage if it hit? So, on top of an arrow shot. I don't know. I... I could do this. I could rescue Rebecca. I could move. Sixteen. I don't think two arrows would hit. Hit 95, avoid 61. I don't think two arrows would hit, so I could keep Matthew there. Well, your speed right now is one. You guys would outspeed, because... Yeah, you guys would both outspeed. And you would do 11. Seven damage on each hit. So that would be 28 damage. If I heal Bartry... So if I heal Bartry, he will survive all of that, even if they both went... Well, only one could go for him, actually. Now that I think about it. If I were to kill this one... Only one would be able to attack Bartry. And likely would, because he's the best target. Alright, I think this is the right play. If I get rid of this brigand. As it stands right now, only one could attack Bartry, and only one would be able to attack Matthew. And I yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good this is good, this is good. I think I'll just end my turn then. I think this is fine. Uh let's see how Ella would fares against this fucking Pegasus Knight. It fared okay. Not bad. Alright, so that guy went after Hector. That's what I figured would happen. I'm really concerned. I don't know if you guys could tell from my commentary or not, but I'm really concerned. Because Hector... You have a different weapon than I thought you did, buddy. I wasn't paying enough attention to fucking apparently. I'm really concerned because Hector mode is so much harder than Elliwood mode, and to be completely honest, I did not do a fantastic job on Elliwood mode. Like, I could have done much better on Elliwood mode. Alright, I'm just gonna visit this and then reroute. This will never do! Fuck this, that cutscene! Alright. Uh, yeah. So I got the torch, that's useful. And we're gonna canto back. I need to move out. This guy's gonna join up soon too. This ain't good. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just pop him with this hand axe real fast. I'd like to kill this guy without taking counterattacks if I can as we retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's his maximum range. Can I actually get the kill no matter what? No. Ooh. Ooh. Well, Elwood wouldn't die, though, to be fair. He wouldn't die. Um. Not only would he not die, he wouldn't die from a follow up from someone else. I could. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Good job, Elwood. Alright. That was kind of safe 
Because I have Oswin right there to rescue him if I need to. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move Oswin back a little bit because he has less move. I want to keep him catching back up. Uh, man, this is kind of awkward. We're clogged here. Um, how much can Matthew do? Not much, not much. He could take that right now. So that's pretty shitty. Um, iron bow, steel bow, yeah. Um, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you could Kanto and come back here. I, I think we should. Yeah. Kind of have to. Um. Alright. Now... I'm going to go ahead and finish this guy off. You have... Um, do you have Vulnerys? You do. What about Rebecca? No. How much would you heal? You would heal for 12? So one heal in Bartry would live. Because of the way they're clogged, this would be the one that shoots Sarah. And Sarah would be fine against one arrow. So I think I'm just gonna have Sarah heal Bartry, and then I'm gonna make an attack with Bartry, and then attack with Matthew. Because I, I think realistically, whoops, I think realistically now, we're kind of safe. Because again, Marcus, Marcus isn't the one who dictated how good our positioning there was. Nice. Nice level, Matthew. Holy shit, dude. Um, ooh, actually, they could both attack Matthew now. His defense went up. So, 11 damage and 6 damage. Matthew will live that now. Yeah, so this was the good, this was a good idea. This was a good idea. Okay. Because I want to outspeed Matthew. But the Pegasus gone, even if Math didn't get that extra defense point, he would still live this. So, we're, we're fine, we're fine. That wasn't luck. It, it didn't matter. It'll matter in the future. And it might matter in this chapter, but it doesn't matter for this round, really. Okay. This Pegasus Knight's going to go ahead and go after Lowen. Um, yeah, here we go. One shot. Okay, they're not both going after Matthew. That guy still wants to attack Bartree. You know, ironically, this bandit here would actually do more damage to Bartree than the Steelbow guy just because he doubles him. So they actually, in, a, in, a, a, in one regard, they fucked themselves on that end. Um, okay, okay. Let's go ahead and pull Lowen back a little bit more. Now I just want to pull back. I'm going to sit here. Well, you're probably going to take another hit, so I'm going to preemptively use a vulnerary. I don't want you to die. Um... Lowen should be able to handle himself over there now. Alright. So if Hector can kill this guy, then Matthew can kill that guy. Alright, good, 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 good. 
I have full faith that Matthew would be able to kill the second archer here. Um, yeah, 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 great. Good job, Matthew, good job. <sighs> All right. Much better, much, this is looking much better. Um, Let's just start off by healing Bartry up a little bit. Man, Sarah really could use some more levels. Holy sh holy wow. Um, this guy has speed of seven. Now, he would double Bartry, even without Rebecca. He would deal 20 damage. So Barchi would live and he could tank this hit. However, I do actually just want to get this kill with Marcus. These guys are annoying, I want to regroup and heal. Nice flashy crit, Marcus. Uh, I got both of the villages. So I, I no longer have as much pressure. Which is wonderful. Uh, ooh, I didn't think you'd be able to reach me. I didn't even check your range, though, so I guess it's my fault. Nice flashy crit, Marcus. Two crits in a row. I'm into that. Good shit. Okay, Lowen. Should I just have Lowen player phase this guy now then? So that he'll be topped off when he gets back. Oh my gosh. I mean, speed is great. Don't get me wrong, Lowen, but... Strength? Defense? Resist? Maybe? Maybe? Just maybe? Ooh, they're all coming in. This is bad. Maybe I need to retreat back to the, op uh, the spot where I started. Okay. This, this is this is definitely kind of bad. Um, I think, yeah, because I won't die if he hits me both times. So risking that hit is fine. Um, Alright. Lowen's fine on his own over there. Lowen is now level, what, four? That's good. Yeah, I'd like to retreat a little, I think. I'm not even far enough in to use that, like, wall strategy I used last time. Oh, nice. We got magic. Especially when I have to stop and consider that, like, Oswin is so far behind and he's one of the more significant walls that we have. Um, yeah, let's just pull everyone in. Reel it back a bit. Reel it back a bit. Reel it back a bit. Can I get Hector all the way up here? Can. All right. Okay, guy moves in on his own now too. So that's not so wonderful because he's got that killing edge. <sighs> yeah, I know this is the first I've spoke about him. I didn't forget he was there. I just. You know. Um, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna move you here, Marcus. Barcher, you could get the fuck back right now. gonna wall off right here I think that should be that should be good um, if I just wall this like this I 
Of course they have fucking hand axes. Well, they won't be able to hit Matthew, so I'll put him there for a little bit of support bonus on Hector. Alright, let's 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 see. This should be fine. Plus, I need to get Matthew a little close so that when Guy makes his next move, I can have him go up and talk to him. You know, recruit him and then slaughter the enemy with him. That would be a... Uh, I ideal. I think I can survive one more turn letting Guy come to me, though. I don't think he'll even attack on the next turn. I think we're precisely the right amount of spaces away. That's what it looks like. No, never mind. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. Hmm. I don't want to concede and give Guy the mountain, though. <sighs> That's rough. I don't want him to waste that killing edge, it's the thing. That's the problem. Maybe I should reel it back a little more. I mean, shit. Uh... Okay. Got these dudes over here. Guy wouldn't get onto the mountain. Also, I forgot to do this a second time. <laughs> so I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to correct that mistake. Um, yeah, they're not going to do much damage to Oswin. I'll just... This is good. We're good. Alright. Oh, shit! I keep making that mistake of thinking that fucking peaks are impassable. I'm really glad that I got lucky just now. Holy shit, that could have been terrible. That could have been terrible. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, you're right. Right. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this conversation again. We're gonna recruit Guy. Now, the problem isn't the soldiers, obviously. The problem is the brigands and the goddamn archers. Um... <sighs> Can I get this one with Marcus? I can absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and rescue Matthew here. And then I could go ahead... Okay, I could go ahead and do this. I could get a little bit of pressure off of the group by having Hector kill this guy. That can't, that's not too bad. And then I can go ahead and I can... Six. Not quite enough. Shit. 
shit. Shit. Well, I can go ahead and I can do this, so. There is that. It's because he's on that mountain. It's because I conceded the mountain. I wanted to save a durability on the killing edge, though. It's so, like, it was probably worth. It just sucks. Oof. You can only a 30... Oh, no, okay. I was going to say to hit? Jesus Christ, guy. All right, let's go ahead and put you back here. We'll do that for now. Um, because I'd rather burn a few on the rapier than the killing edge. If I'm being totally honest. <laughs> so... Let's go ahead and heal up Bartree. Um, only one would be able to attack Otherwood. Well, no, because Brigand can move here. Brigand wouldn't even hit Elowood, though. Yeah, 23? He wouldn't even hit Elowood. I'm going to put Elowood here. Well. Actually. That's the only one that could attack Elowood. I just wanted to give Hector the support bonus. So, I guess that was a good call. Because no one can even hit him. Except the brigand, who I doubt will. Alright, so the soldiers are down. I expect those archers to go after... Oh, really? Weird. I thought they would go after Oswin, since he's carrying somebody. Hmm. Okay, then. Well, I'm, I'm fine with this. You know, like, whatever. <sighs> come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Alright. I'll deal with that last. Uh... Oh my god, my heart, my aching heart. Fuck me. Um... <sighs> Sorry. Killed the shit out of a bug just now. Landed on the wall, just bop. Fuck you, bug. safe enough. You know, honestly though, I don't even care if Oswin's carrying Matthew. I'm still going to use him for this. Doesn't even matter to me. Now I can go ahead and I can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go ahead, weaken this guy up with Marcus. And then, even though he took my mountain from me... I should be able to get this kill. Nice. 
Not bad. I'll take it. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. And then we'll just go ahead and finish this last archer up with Lowen. Okay. That's that's not that's not bad. Um, we're looking like it, we're in a lot better of a position than we were a minute ago. Speed nine. So con yeah, speed six. Ooh. You actually don't double him. I'm just gonna let the Axe Bros over here kind of deal with this for now, and then I'll finish it with Rebecca, I think, maybe. Okay. This Cav would be per ideal for fighting with Elliewood. Nice. Even though I don't plan to use her, I still think I'd rather give the kill to Rebecca. Just because she is an archer. Like, and granted, archers kind of suck. Oh, that wasn't that bad of a level. If she got strength, that would have been phenomenal. Um, they have high enough skill and they're not using a fucking axe with a low ass hit rate. Like... Just for the sake of plinking the enemy a little bit better, I'd rather give the kills to her to get her a level here and there. You know? If nothing else, then for the sake of making a couple chapters right now in the earlier part of the game easier. Uh, damn, and I can't even get him there. Ooh, guy. Not bad. What are guys' stats looking like right now? Oh my god. You outshine Ellawood in almost every way. Defenses are only slightly lower and you have a bunch more HP. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... Take and drop Matthew and then Canto down to about here. He can't reach me. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to the forests and stuff. Um, Nice try, and then nice follow-up try, Cavalier guy. Alright, good shit. Had a feeling he'd go for Guy, but I think Guy will be just fine. He'll probably double. Ooh, he doubled and killed him. Good shit, Guy. Good shit, Guy. Making my life just easier enough, you know? I'm happy with that. Right. I'm gonna bring in Sarah. Top off Ellawood. 
Um, never know when we might need it. Plus, I want to give her EXP because holy shit. Alright, let's go ahead and see how much damage we do. Not nearly enough. Okay. If I were to move Osmond down here and thrust a lance into the side of him. Let us see if that would make all the difference. Because I can't remember the number already. Alright, so three off. Matthew can do that. Let's go for it. All right. Eloid can finish it. And we could get him a little bit of EXP. What level is Eloid right now? Two? Three? Oh, we actually did get him to three? Good, 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 good. Um, if we get everyone moving in. I want to move Hector here because he supports. Should be good, should be good. Alright. It's at this point where the rest of the chapter is fucking cake up until we get near the boss. So, future Dylan, um, fast forward.
I guess that was all worth it to try to get Ella with that little level there. Even if, uh, even if it was only one, you know? You got them where you can, and Ella would, right now, he kind of needs them. <sighs> he kind of needs them, he kind of needs them. He's on level four. So let's just go ahead. As you saw, I was support grinding. If future Dylan was a good boy. Then he cut the support grinding short just a tad. And when I say just a tad, I mean... And when I say just a tad, I mean he showed that it was support grinding and then he faded to black and ended the montage kind of early. Um, that's what I want Future Dylan to do. I don't know if he did that. If Future Dylan, if you don't do that, you're an asshole. Uh, yeah, but we've already seen these cutscenes. We're going to accept the side quest. Um, yeah, damn. That actually went a little bit better than I thought. I was a little scared because that map can suck. Um, it's not especially hard or anything, but it's just we're so underleveled. I'm not used to playing Hector mode without doing Lin mode. I'm not used to playing El Elawood mode without doing Lin mode for that matter. I always start with Lin mode. I've never tried to jump in without having units trained at least a, that little bit, you know what I mean? So this is going to be hard for me. But yeah, um, we took care of that pretty well. I'd say we did a pretty good job. And, you know, I might actually use Guy this time. Because he's gotten a, a few crits that were not necessary, but I liked, you know? He's, he's got better stats than Elwood fucking does. At least I might use him for a little bit until he falls off. We'll have to see. But yeah, that's about it for today. I will catch you guys in the next one. I hope you're enjoying seeing me attempt to tear this game to pieces, at least until it comes back to haunt me and the game tears me to pieces. So <laughs> make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you enjoyed the video or maybe you didn't. You know, it's up to you. Um, I, I, I'm trying, I think for this mode, I'm going to try to have a little bit less commentary and just more practical focus because it's going to be very hard it's going to be very hard for me to do this uh i'm just scared <laughs> i'm just scared maybe i'll try to get an na or, a, or uh, at least some kind of a guest on here i think that'd be a good idea we'll see if maybe i could get a guest for the next episode that'd be nice all right but yeah i'll see you guys then have a good rest of your night i love you all thanks for watching peace